This is a DaVinci Resolve tutorial for beginners to show you how to install the latest version and edit and render your first video. Let's get started. To get the software, go to blackmagicdesign.com products DaVinci Resolve. I added the link below. Click on the free download now. Next, pick the system that you're running, likely Mac or Windows x86. Give your information and download the zip file. Extract the zip file and double click on the unpacked installer to start the installation. Okay. Once the installation is complete, we can open the DaVinci Resolve from the desktop icon. That's it. Easy, wasn't it? Now, let's edit our first video. Create a new project. I know DaVinci Resolve might seem like a lot the first time you open it, but you got this. Let me show you how it works. First, let's find the video clip you have on your phone or on your camera and create a project folder in the video folder and drop it there. Now, in DaVinci Resolve, you have all these tabs down here. As a beginner, you mainly need this Edit tab, the Color tab, and the Rendering tab. Let's start with the Edit tab. Here in the top row, you have the media pole where all the files go. Let's drag and drop the video file here. In the middle, you have the video window where you see the preview and finally the inspector where you can adjust the settings of the current clip or effect. On the bottom, you have tools containing all the plugins like text elements, the timeline where you edit the clips. Let's drop the video here and bring it at the beginning. Lastly, we have an audio mixer with faders. Now to cut the file, let's zoom in by using the slider. By pressing the space key, you can start playing the video. With keys J, K and L, you can go backwards, stop and play. Pressing twice doubles the playback speed. To edit this simple talking head video, we can zoom in, make the audio track wider by dragging it and start by normalizing the audio volume. This simply makes the volume louder and makes it easier to edit following the waveform. I like to use the YouTube preset. Now I see clearly where I start talking, so I can bring the playhead just before that and move the cursor to the start of the video. Here you should be able to see this cursor and once you do, you can now trim the start until the playhead. And then grab the file and pull it at the beginning of the timeline. Next, I will cut the pauses in between by using the waveform. I move the playhead here and press Ctrl B on the keyboard to create a cut. Now I can again trim the clip until I start speaking again and bring the files together. Check that you have the snapping magnet on so the clips snap to each other easily. We can do the same for the rest of the video. If you have some bad takes there, just cut them out too. To keep this simple, let's add one text element and one image on the timeline. To add some text on top of your video, you can click on this magnifier icon and type text in the search. Grab the text tool and drop it above the track 1. Bring the playhead on top of it to see it in the viewer. Now you can adjust and control it from the inspector. First, let's pick another font, size and color. Make sure your text is always easy to read against the background, so in this case we can use the white color. You can change the location by sliding the position on the X and Y axis. Finally, you can trim or extend the length of the clip to make it match the video. If you want, you can add a fade in and fade out effects from the corners to make it appear and disappear slowly. Now, let's bring an image to the media pole and drop it on the timeline. Again, adjust the length and increase or decrease the size depending how you want to show it on screen. I'll make it cover the whole screen. If you want to use a transition, Press Ctrl T on the keyboard to add them at the start and end. Here from the inspector, I can select the type of transition I want to use. I like to use push and use easing to make the transition smoother. Okay, these are the basic steps to start editing in DaVinci Resolve. When you're ready to render your video, go to the last tab that has the rocket icon. Pick YouTube preset, give a file name, pick a location. Below, check the Normalize Audio box and pick Optimize to Standard. This adds more volume to your audio. Before you render, make sure you have the entire timeline selected and then click Add to Render Queue. And finally, Render All. 
Once the file has rendered, open your video player and watch it to make sure the video is ready for sharing. If you have any question or an idea for a tutorial, please write a comment below so I can make it. To keep learning more, you can watch one of these videos next.